So EA dropped the 86 plus base triple threat or UEFA hero player pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and hopefully get some decent cards. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code Haber. All right, these are an 86 rated squad and that's it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, heroes don't get me anywhere near as excited as icons do, but there are some decent heroes you can get. I'd love a UCL Torres. Torres? Tevez? First one, of course, is just three base heroes. And this is why I don't get excited for hero content. Because the pack weight on hero content is always dry as a bone. And heroes at this stage of the game, there's not a huge amount of them that get into my in, into my team, into anyone's team really anymore. Uh, second one, though. Let's see what we get. That's actually really annoying. I would have happily taken Oli if I didn't already own him untradeable. So we're going to take JJ Akotcha. In terms of base heroes, they're not bad, but they're just, they're not to the power curve anymore, in my opinion. And that's why hero content needs to remove base heroes or make it like 89 plus. Because realistically, I think maybe Ginola and Yaya Torre, I guess Yaya Torre is 87. Are the only ones that fit into people's teams now? All right, we have the Doctor's player pick next. Hopefully he's got a medicine of positivity. Milito. I love his dynamic image. It's awesome. It's... It's not that awful of a card. It's just not good, you know? That's the annoying thing. To my point earlier, like, there are definitely more than just two heroes that are usable. I just think that, like, for me, I don't, I wouldn't have had base these hero picks, personally. All right, we have got Lala's player picks next. Let's see what we get in Lala's picks. That's not bad, actually. McManaman's not a terrible card. I think that's actually all right. Not insane, but I think that's okay. We're going to take McManaman there. Uh, what's the second one? I do love the dynamic images on the, uh, UA for ones. They are class, to be fair. Second one's gonna be Sydney Govu. Oh, why base Tevez? No! The UA for Tevez is, like, such a good card, man. Such a good card. Govu's okay. Govu's not bad. But that UA for Tevez is so good. That's a shame, really. All right, next hero player pick. What are we saying? Come on, another UA for one, please. Eh, uh, recost. Oh, Lucio. Lucio is very good, actually. Lucio, Lucio is still definitely up there with CBs on this game. I have no idea what Lucio is worth these days. 500k. We'll take that. That's solid. Lucio is a W. Lucio is an absolute W. It's funny. I just tunnel vision onto Rui Costa, so it's kind of a surprise seeing him there. All right. Next hero player pick. Let's continue along the likes of people like Lucio, right? We want to get some of those top tier heroes. Sadly, no Lucio in that one. We get Rui Costa in the first slot again. I thought, you know what? Deja vu. Deja, no. I think it's because you put the Liverpool kit next to it. That's just... It was destined to have something awful there. We go again with two more of the hero picks. John Arnorita is not a... Like, the UEFA version of John Arnorita... I mean, obviously, you've got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer there as well. The good thing is, Cridian's Norwegian. I don't know if this is his Norway to Glory account or not, but Cridian is Norwegian. He wants Ole. Um... John Arisa is still a good card there as well. I think it's like a box-to-box -box mid. If you can somehow figure that out, maybe that Kamavinga, uh, you can make that work. Second one now. Wow. That's fun. Wow. All right. We go again, of course. Come on, UC UCL, please. I'm just going to take the highest rated there because none of them are good. Francesco Lee. All right. Second one. Please, UEFA. Brother. Back-to-back -back Francesco Lee's. We get a Keesler there as well that's actually saving us a little bit. It's just... Oh, man, that's not good. All right, we've got Dylan's player pick now. I don't know who that is or any reference to the player pick at all. Carlos Tevez again. Tevez is UEFA and we are bouncing around the room. Sadly, the base one is okay, but it's just not exciting. Come on, EA. UEFA heroes only, please. Ugh. <sighs> Fernando Morientes. Tevez seems so, like it's a very, very Tevez heavy rotation. And also, they seem to have removed all the UEFA, UEFA heroes right now. What's going on? Can we get our first UEFA Torres? Uh, you're saying Torres and not Tevez. What's wrong with me today? What's wrong with these picks as well? Where have the UEFA heroes gone? Give us a UEFA Tevez, man. On to my second account now with two hero picks. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go against the grain and open the second one first. And it absolutely worked. Wow. There you go. Hero. UA for hero. Abadi Pele. Nice, man. The crazy thing is, he's actually not that much more expensive than base Lucio. 
Just go show how good Lucio is. But wow, what card? That card's sick. Let's go. Very nice. All right, and now for the second one in the first slot. Ah, we get Morientes, who we already have. I'll take Joe Cole. I think that's the best set so far. Probably by a bit of a margin. We'll absolutely take that. And on my second account. Very nice. On to Xbox now. Norberto has got his player pick. Let's see what he gets. Come on. Hopefully the rotation's changed in our favor. That was, that was a good set right there. We are on Xbox as well, so if it looks a bit different, that's why. We're watching on it. Sorry. Litmanen. It is a shame that the dynamic image is so good on a card that is just so distinctly average. Because that is such a cold dynamic. All right, John's hero player pick next. Kevin De Bruyne next. I, I like, look, as a United fan, hate Kevin De Bruyne. And he gets, look at that, for the for the Belgian Man City perfect link. He got Marquisio in the same pick as well. Um, I despise Kevin De Bruyne just, just as a United fan because he's so good. I hate the fact he can come back from injury and be as good as he was for what, like 20 minutes? Bro. Bro, just, why have you got to be so good at football? All right, two more. Ericsson being the good luck charm. Here we go. Kanu. Voller's not bad, actually. I get so, like, funnel visioned onto whoever the UEFA one is. Kanu's bad. Voller's all right. Voller's actually pretty decent still in this game. Uh, second one now. Come on. Give us a good UEFA hero, please. Rickon. Smolarek's not terrible either. Smolarek and Voller in terms of, like, you know, if it's September, you're absolutely jumping for joy. You know what I mean? All right. From Calamon's. Player picks next. Let's see what we get. Didn't he go, Vu? I wouldn't be surprised if he picked the fodder option here. I think Sidney Govu is okay. But again, like, I mean, his team is ridiculous. He does not need a Sidney Govu. I don't think he gets on his bench. So I would not be surprised if he wanted the higher rated fodder option. I'm just waiting to see what he wants here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess we wait. There we go. He's going to pick it there. Uh, all right. Second one. Come on. You wait for hero, please. EA, we don't want Sydney Govu. Stop giving us Sydney Govu. All right, two more of your finest hero picks. I don't actually know how many we've done today. We've done quite a lot already, though. Dosha. Jamie's probably going to pick the fodder option, which I think is fair enough. But Oli is a baller. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. It's Criddy in second account. He's Norwegian. Of course we pick Oli. Oh, yeah. All right, second one now. Ooh, Joe Cole slip with threat. That's not bad. I don't think we packed him yet. That's not bad at all. He can play HM Som or VV. He's a Helt. This is actually not a bad card. We'll take that. Is he worth anything? What is Joe Cole going for on the market these days? About 200k? I oh, will take that. That's profit. All right, John's back for his second pick. I am trying to bring the luck, is what I was about to say. And it didn't work. It didn't work. Why have you got Darwin Nunes there? Like, Darwin... Darwin, he's not bringing the luck, my friend. Darwin, he is not going to cook for you right now. You've just guaranteed yourself a bad player pick. Oh, no way. You got Berbatov. I'm so... I'm actually so jealous. I'm actually fuming. Darwin, he's got you, Berbatov, who's an absolute baller. Oh, I'm livid. He's not... He's not even picked Berbatov either. Oh, that's just, uh, oh, mate, I'm angry. All right, my boy Norberto's got a second player pick now. Can't believe he didn't pick Berbatov. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Fuming. Why are you discarding Malassia? What are you guys doing to me today? You deserve that. Well, I guess Vola's actually pretty good. You didn't deserve that, actually. All right, we go again. EA, I'm getting bored of this now. Come on. Big W, please. All those in the club. Here we go. You know what it is? It Alexa, turn on all of my lights. We didn't have the lights on. Oh, they really don't do that much anymore. I need, to, I need to sort that out. I think one of them fell over on this side, which is why they're just not bright anymore. The lights weren't on. That's what it was. Will the lights bring the look? Is it what we've been missing this whole time? The lights. It's all it was. Rookie mistake by me. It was the lights the whole time. It was actually the lights the whole time. A rookie error. I forgot to turn them on. I was watching United. So I like watching United in the dark room so that I can cry after it. I, I should have just turned them on. 
Rookie mistake. Come on, this is where the look just gets a lot better. This is where it all turns around. This video, we've been waiting for this moment this whole time. Berber, great. Terrible. But the second one's going to be good. Come on, here we go. The second one will be good. Bang, Rosicki. No, I mean, it's actually not a bad card. I, th th it's not good. Stop. Stop doing this, man. I need to snap out of this bad habit of saying cards aren't bad, but they are. Moldtown's built his second player pick now. Do you know why I, I always think Dirk Cow is good? He had a really decent card last year. I think it was a position change centre mid. Um, and ever since he got that card last year, in my head, whenever I see Dirk Cow, I'm like, yeah, good card. I think I do that with a lot of cards. Is why I always say that's not a bad card. Because I'm living in the past. I'm, I'm, I'm a United fan, so I've got to live in the past, to be fair. But oh. All right, two more hero picks. We're running straight into it. The first one. First to Campos of the day. Why is it Campos's dynamic, like, fine and the rest of them are broken? Whatever. All right, second one. Come on. EA, cook. Or, or don't. That's also fine, I guess. We go again. And we get rubbish again. What a shock. All right, we have two more again for B4. Here we go. Wesley Schneider, but it's not the UCL Wesley Schneider. That would have been great if it was the UCL Schneider. We'll take him anyway. But, you know, be the UCL one next time. Imagine we got UCL one in the, in the player pick next to him. That'd be class. No, we don't. We get Viali. We get two player picks where if we got the UCL versions of e either of those, like, if we got both UCL versions, I would be so happy right now because that would be class. Or even just one of the UCL versions, but we don't. We get both base versions. Take out the base uh, base heroes, EA. Dylan, second account. Two more. Let's see if we can get anything good. I know, I know it probably, like, I'm, I'm probably ranting a lot today. I do apologize. Um, I do apologize for ranting so much about hero picks. It's just because base heroes just annoy me. I do apologize. Unless it's like Janola, you know. Or yeah, yeah Torre. Uh, he's taken Melito and John Arnorisa there. All right, next hero pick. Come on. A lot happened there. There were different versions of heroes. It kind of overwhelmed me a little bit. It ended up not being great, but, you know, that happens. All right, Dylan's third account. Dylan's cooking today. He's got so many accounts. Will he get something good on this one? Another Tevez. Another base Tevez. Give us the UCL. Another one on the Xbox. For a frisky pigeon. Are we getting frisky right now? Here we go. Can we get him something good? Fingers crossed we can. Come on, EA. Cook for us. Ooh, Ramirez. Ramirez actually is so excited. It's a shame it's not the UA for one. But just whenever I get new, like, it's just new, isn't it? It's just a new card in the game. It's quite exciting. I know he's not worth huge amounts, but 300k is 300k. You know what I mean? We'll take that. Still solid. All right, two more for Dylan on his like 18th account. He, I don't know, I don't know. He's got reserves on reserves. Oh, Bompass Store's UA for card is nice. That's a nice card right there. You take a Bompass Store. What we got for the second one? Come on, sort us out right now. Dirt cow again. Uh, not great. Bompass Store's good though, in my opinion. All right, Waz has got a player pick, and he's got notoriously bad pack look whenever he share plays. So I'm really hoping today's the day that changes. Probably won't be though. Shock. Shock. I imagine if Wazza had that sword right now, he'd probably swing it straight for my face. All right, <laughs> Wazza's gone for round two. Against my better judgment, he went for round two. And at least that one's in a pretty order. It's not 8, 6, 8, 7, 8, 8. That's cool. All right, we're going to end it off on this last hero player pick. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you guys are new around here and enjoy the video. Will we end it off with a W? Well, Ollie's always a W. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. later. All right. Ultra versus pack on the main account. 87 plus base icon and 88 rated or higher players. 14 of them, to be precise. I don't know why I've worded it like that. That's like a really weird way for me to word that. Uh, but here we go. Belgium, center mid, Kevin De Bruyne, icon card. To be honest, he probably deserves it, mate. The fact he's come back from injury and just absolutely torn it up is crazy. The icon is Zola. So it is an 87 rated icon. Pretty poor if you ask me. Um, yeah, I don't know. He feels... Zola feels so common in 
both icon packs and in the store packs. However, we got ourselves a uh, Kingsley Coman. That's not bad. Not insane. He's not worth huge amounts, but he is worth about 200k. Uh, to be fair, me saying not worth huge amounts. 200k is a lot. Uh, we got Ronaldo as well. He's worth about 50k. That's a good card, though. That is a really good card. I'm quite happy about that, actually. I'm quite excited. Nice. We'll take that. That is solid. I was going to open up the 500k Elite Versus pack, but I'm going to open up the Supreme Icebreaker pack. I think it's better. I think it's actually better. Or at least I feel like... I'd rather open this than 100 players and for only 47 of them being a rating minimum versus this having, I think, all of them a rating minimum. Anyway, we've got Irene Paris and Courtois. My only issue at the moment is got a lot of dupes. And I don't really have a huge amount of place, places to put dupes anymore. I've done most SBCs. Well, I'll be a Rashford at the end of this. Ooh, uh, I don't like that. I don't like that because I've currently got the United game on right now. And he's already scored one. They literally have a corner. In fact, this clip's going to roll over into this. Because I'm going to watch this. Probably concede this corner. Because we just concede every corner in the world, apparently. Another Komen there as well, which is kind of annoying. And Timo Werner's not scored. Oh. Um, there's actually... You know, the annoying thing is it's a really good pack. But, like, his Komen's there as well. We've got a bunch of fodder and whatnot. But Komen's obviously a dupe untradeable. So it doesn't really matter. All right, fine. I'm going to DJ and open it. I just want Rashford. I just want Ice or Fire Rashford. And I'm being a DJ and I'm opening it. If it lets me. <sighs> I should not be left alone with FC points on my account. I'll be honest with you. It's just a, it's a bad look. It won't even let me open it, man. Hello? Hello? It opened. I wasn't looking, but it opened. We've got Mo Salah. Uh, he's just a normal walkout, right? I don't think he's a special card. We have an inform behind him. Who is the inform? I'm guessing Dragusin. Because he just wants to give me Spurs players today. Is he even in this week's team of the week? He might not be. Ivan Martin from Girona. Fair enough. It's okay. What else we got in there? Griezmann, Arriola. United are also attacking. Vicario is good, man. Do we have an ice or fire card? I feel like we won't because the player picks were, yeah. The player picks were quite close to the front. Maybe a dupe. Yeah. Shock. Shock.